Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video, and today we're going to do a should you pull on the Garnet and Rex banner, so they are actually dropping tonight. So a little late getting to this one, but it's because I had to do all the community stream stuff and there's really quick turnaround here, right? So today we're going to talk about the individual banners, we'll talk a little bit about the side characters as well, and then talk about if these are banners you should pull on. So I know I just did my monthly pull planning guide, this will be a more kind of in-depth should you pull for these characters, right? So the first banner here is really going to be focused on Garnet, and the side characters are going to be Shelk and Alphanod. Um, I would say the side characters here aren't really worth it. They're just nice little pickups that you'll hold on to until they actually become uh, relevant again. Um, Shelk especially is really not relevant right now, and Shelk, Shelk unfortunately plays really poorly into Force Era. So Shelk has been like when Shelk first dropped, she was really cool, really good. But her deal is that she like spams a ton of turns in a row, uh, uses her LD to basically reset herself and then like can do all of her skills again. Um, very abusable for turn spamming. The problem with Shelk is her on turn damage like individual hits are very low and turn spamming doesn't bode well for force time because you don't want her eating up your force gauge doing a bunch of little hits. So Shelk really just doesn't have a place right now. Um, so not really a great character to be grabbing. Um, Shelk though does have a very good sphere. So if you happen to get Shelk sphere, like if you pull on this banner and get some EXs, definitely save them because I do like uh, Shelk sphere. And I don't think Shelk's call is anything too noteworthy either. So I really wouldn't worry about Shelk. Um, Alphanod, Alphanod's solid. Um, just because Alphanod does have some support things in, in that he can do a little bit of healing, a little bit of battery, stuff like that. But uh, overall, not the craziest character. He's more of a damage dealer and as an LD only character, not really putting up too much damage. But um, Alphanod is good for like a little bit of battery and healing. So sure, he's probably usable. Um, but not really like a, for once again, for an LD only character, you got to be doing some really cool things. And neither of these characters are really like characters you should be aiming for. And I don't think either of their calls or anything you really need to aim for here. So I'd say if you get Shelk or Alphanod, it's because you're going for Garnet and you happen to get them on the side. Now, Garnet is a character I did recommend in my poll planning video. Um, the thing with Garnet is a lot of players will already have Garnet done. Um, Garnet has been ridiculously hyped since the fourth anniversary. Garnet really hasn't fallen off. Um, and when Garnet does start to fall off, she gets her rework pretty quick. And then she's kind of ready to go again. And we just got her Echo. So she's coming back here as a straight rerun. But she's she feels like a modern character still. Like she's still ridiculously good. Her auras are great. Uh, her support is awesome. So Garnet is a character I can highly recommend players go for if you don't have her kit uh, for sure. Uh, that being said, though, as you saw in my poll planning video, there is some competition with some other very good support characters this month, mainly Iris and Rem. So depending on what your resources are at, you may have to pick like your favorite of the three. I think all three are very, very good. Um, but if you need a support character, man, Garnet, she's still like a top pick for me for like a character I really like to use on my support squad, right? Um, then we have Rex. Um, so Rex's banner here is going to have uh, Barrett and Bosch. Um, Barrett really doesn't have a lot of value. Unfortunately, Barrett just hasn't really ever been that great in the game. Um, I'm hoping when Barrett gets like BT and stuff that he's really good because I really like Barrett as a character and I would love for him to be really cool. And I do think Barrett has potential. Um, one of the main things with this kit is that he does provide like crit damage. Um, but what I like about him is he's got these really cool beam follow-ups and I, I just see the potential for Barrett to be a really potent damage dealer with some off-turn stuff, maybe give him double follow-ups or something like that. Um, I don't know. I think Barrett could be really cool one day, but right now he's really not a character you're going to use, right? Um, then we have Bosch. Bosch does have some value, and I would say out of all the banner characters, I, I, I guess I would say Bosch is the best because he is a tank. Um, the thing with Bosch, though, as a tank, he's not as flexible as other tanks because Bosch is more of an AoE specialist tank. So he doesn't really do like covering uh, and I don't believe he locks either. Uh, so really his tanking specialty is AoE damage. He kind of has the Zack thing where, uh, and he's the originator of it by the way. Zack is something he, he got it later on. But where any AoE damage, Bosch will just kind of soak it all up into himself, right? So the reason why Bosch hasn't really been top tier is because he so specializes in AoE damage that when you're doing single target stuff, he, he doesn't tank as well. And Zack now has the Bosch effect where he can absorb the AoE damage. So there's just other tanks that are so much better than Bosch. But Bosch can still be a character like in the right fight. 
uh, you can still make some use out of him. So I would say like he's probably the most valuable out of these banner characters just because uh, his role as a tank is something you can get use out of as an LD only character, right? Um, then we have Rex. And so I talked about uh, uh, Rex before my poll planning video, and I, I maybe undersold Rex a little bit on the offensive side, um, just because I'm not as familiar with the damage. Like I can go and read the kit, but I don't really watch a lot of JP gameplay of the characters. And when I read the kit, it looks like, yeah, Rex is a cover tank. And I do believe that that's what Rex is, but what I'm told is, is his damage is actually kind of crazy. So, and I did watch some videos and he does do like, cause he does get follow-ups. Um, it works like snow where he does it before he attacks. And so, yes, if you have him properly set up with a BT effect and everything, um, he can output a lot of damage on turn. Now, individually, I did look at his damage. His on turn damage himself, it was nothing special. Like it was fairly average, but I think the value in him comes with like that off turn, like those extra follow-ups um, and the BT really helping with that. So I think if you full invest Rex and like really go into him, his damage is really good. Um, I think my... I feel like my stance though is still pretty similar on Rex, whereas in the reason why I didn't like him as much in that video is because I was thinking of him primarily as a tank and as a tank, he does it all right, but there are other characters that tank better because I do consider him a tank. He covers and he reduces Brave and HP damage. He just doesn't do full tank stuff like he doesn't heal himself back, doesn't completely reduce damage and doesn't counter. And I talked about that in that video that those are qualities I didn't like or I, th I thought about flaws. Now, if you think of Rex as a primary DPS and then has some mitigation on the side, then yeah, I think you could look on Rex a little bit more favorably that way. Now for DPS, uh, his damage is going to be really, really good right now. But the thing is, is um, there's a character named Astos coming out and I believe it's going to be in July and Astos is going to be like the next character that is like the unga bunga, like must pull, like super meta damage deal character. So I think it's going to depend on your situation. So what I talked about in my pull planning video was like, there were so certain characters like Tifa, Vaughn, um, General Leo. That's like, if you're looking for a DPS, those are characters you can pull. So I think the one thing, I guess, thing I would change about what I said in that pull playing video is you would just add Rex to that mix. So if you're thinking of Rex as a DPS, if you're in search of DPS, then Rex, I think you could lump in there with like Tifa and everybody else as a really good DPS option. And Rex does do AOE damage. Whereas Vaughn, uh, Tifa, these other characters I'm recommending, General Leo, they are kind of single target specialists. So if you want a, a more modern character with good AOE damage, then maybe Rex is a character for you and you may want to pull for him. Now, that being said, he's going to get like immediately outclassed by Astos in like a month. So that's the other reason that I still kind of stand by the way I did my pull planning video, where even though his damage is a lot better than maybe I let on, I, I still think the recommendation stands because if you're pulling for him for DPS, just keep in mind, you're going to have like a good solid month until he's already outclassed. So I would say, and that would go for other characters, right? Like Astos is going to be the king of damage. So it's probably going to replace any of your DPS characters if you're going to go for Astos. So I would say if you're in need of DPS, look at my pull planning video, look at those characters we talked about, but I'd say between Rex, Leo, Tifa, Vaughn, you could pick your one or two DPS characters if depending on how many you need and pick the one you want. Now, I think with Rex having some mitigation and some tanking ability, like that does, it is a nice compliment to him being a DPS. So like I said, I wouldn't think of Rex though as like your main tank, um, just because it, I don't think his tanking is gonna be as good as other characters, but he is gonna carry really good damage. Overall though, I would say that both of these banners, and, and I kind of talked about in the pull planning video, I can see justification for pulling or not pulling on almost every banner. I don't think there's any banner this month that I would say you must pull on. And I don't know that there's any that I would say like you absolutely should avoid. I would say the most avoidable set was the Shantado uh, Ursula one, but like Ursula is still like pretty fire. Like Ursula is pretty good. Um, so it really depends. But in terms of this, like you're, you're gonna have to look ahead to the month, look ahead to your resources. Um, for me, um, I'm probably, I, I, I talked about this earlier, obviously I'm skipping Garnet because I've got Garnet built. And that's going to be a big thing for a lot of players, right? Like obviously skip Garnet if you got her, no need to pull there. Um, but Rex is a tempting option. And for me being a YouTuber and I do character guides, I want new characters, right? And, and it is tempting for me to go in. Uh, I'm just going to have to see how my free pulls treat me, to be honest. Um, what I was telling uh, 
somebody in my discord was that like it, <laughs> i was like well if they if they gift me rex's bt then sure i'll go all in and build rex um that's kind of what happened to me with edgar right like they gifted me edgar's bt so i like went and built but i don't rex isn't a character that i don't know for me personally that i'm gonna go in and like say gem for bt because here's the thing if you are pulling for rex for dps like you you want the bt to enable that damage without the bt um it's kind of like tifa you're going to get way significantly less damage out of the character right and uh so it's going to be totally up to you you guys can let me know if you're going to pull or not um i think these banners could be skippable could be you could have good reason to pull but i do really like garn as a support character i think rex can really work as a dps really depends on what you need and what you want to manage this month so anyways thanks for watching we'll catch you all on the next one